Hey, so what's going on, guys? So I emailed DIY, um, you know, yesterday or two days ago, and Matt came back with me and basically says that the MS3 firmware has a VQ35DE preset pattern um, and just fed the spark mode um, to VQ35. That's a drop down menu inside Tutor Studio. And then use your check engine light, and um, basically you can change the trigger offset. So he sent me that. Um, let me go back and see. Uh, this damn computer is kind of slow. Um, so and then I forgot what I replied with. Let's see what I had asked. All right, so I was like, cool. Um, is there a diagram? You know, I'm swapping this VQ and DS13. Um, I'm not sure if I need both cams and crank or simply crank. Um, I really don't need sequential, but then after reading, it actually comes with it. But he replied back um, with these, uh, you know, MS Extra um, documents. Um, so one of them, you know, is just talking about the wiring diagram. Let me see, uh, you know, what, something like this. Um, you know, so this is, you know, your wire diagram is the, what is it, DB37 um, connector that they use. And <clears throat> it's basically showing me like this crank sensor here you know it's really the the what do you call it um gosh where are we at that light gray one that we're looking for if you follow that coming around and then it goes here to db pin 24 and then the black one is the common ground for mega squirt and then since nissan ecu is a hall sensor um, which I got to clarify, which I got this one guy on um, MS Extra. Uh, it's a, um, you know, you need to have a 12 volt supply, but supposedly with Nissans, they need a 5 volt supply. So that's something that I could get off of, um, you know, this, uh, we call it EC, um, yeah, off the ECU. So then, of course, here goes, you know, your pin layout. Um, you know, I was looking everything in here and, you know, I didn't really see anything about, um, you know, Thingy input, but I think that might be because I need to look at the other harness for the daughter board um, because I'm gonna get the MS3 with the um, what do you call it, daughter board inside. So, you know, basically just kind of going through. But in their documents, this is what you know it said no which includes uh, Nissan 350Z and VQ. It requires the crank and cam sensors to be connected. Um, you say your spark boat to that. You do your trigger offset, and if you guys know about MS, you change the degrees to um, basically, you know, move the timing light up and down. Basically, get it to the um, timing you want. Um, well, actually, not really the timing you want to say, but if like let's say when you're doing in Tutor Studio, you put it to um, a static timing of 20 degrees. On the trigger wheel with the light, you're gonna change this number, um, you know, either up or down, uh, to get to you know the timing light crank hitting 20 degrees on the crank pulley. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. Um, so they're just giving you some information there. Then I went and I found it looking through the forums, and this guy right here, um, user's name is. Well, actually, hold on. That was SL something, or maybe I'm looking at a different one. But um, ooh, I think I posted. I responded to the wrong um, email. I mean, um, what do you call it? Thread. Because well, maybe not. Let's go to the first one. So this guy, he's doing a VQ37 um, with VVEL and VVT. I just have a VV, VVT. Um, but you know, basically, he's kind of just going through. And one of the cool things was here was um, I'm getting mixed up because there's another sensor I need to look at. So basically, this one's just confirming that you know we have um, what do you call it a Hall Effect sensor for it. Um, I'm trying to see where, and that's just talking about the VVL. Uh, See, I'm trying to, I was, I was doing any of this, I mean, doing all of this and looking and, um, let me go. I think it's in this, this, this one, the, the thread that began here. So he's basically talking about, he did his, 
Oh no, this is a totally different one. Guys, I'm lost. I'm lost in the, the world of the World Wide Web. Hold on, I know I got this guy somewhere. It was like SL something, whatever. Um, okay, here we go. This guy, um, SJL008 on the um, Mega, uh, Mega Squirt support form. So he's running the MS3, um, you know, version 3.0 board with the expansion. Um, I guess the expansion should be the 3.57 or something, you know, along those lines. But he went and he basically, you know, did these settings here, got it to work. And I guess apparently, let me see where he said he changed something and boom, it started working. But never mind. Regardless of the, the, the thing is, the guy went, we have people who've done the VQ swap, so I'm closer to what I need to be. Um, the only thing that I need clarification, which I asked on those forms, is in here, or even looking at you know this here, um, this DB37, it doesn't say anything about a cam, um, you know, um, input. You know, I'm looking at here, like here goes crank tack 24. Um, so I don't know, do I wire the cams, both cam sensors and the crank to port 24? And then when I use that decode, it's gonna, you know, basically the, the decoder is gonna know what the, the symbols mean um, or what. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things seen. And then, yeah, but yeah, that's my only thing. Everything else is, is straightforward. You know, your manner of flow, temp, your coolant temp, your TPS, you know, your um, wideband, um, you know, all of this information is, you know, pretty straightforward. It's just that one question that I have. Uh, uh, like I said, this is for the main plug. I don't know because for you guys, let me just see if I can get to DIY's site and show you, uh, what do you call it, what I'm looking at. <clears throat> Yes, yes, yes. This is the cool thing about uh, at least a touch screen computer. Make a squirt assembled. Um, MS3. And then we're going to go with the MS3 with the, you know, um, the expansion already. The daughter board that's already um, installed. Because hmm. when you do this, once it loads. Ah, uh, Lord, come on, guys. You can do it. Any, oh, maybe I was just looking for pictures. But anyhow, um, you know, this is what it is. But then, you know, this MS3 comes with the expansion board installed. Um, so it comes with eight sequential fuel injection outputs, um, eight logic, you know, five-volt ignition outputs. That's going to be for your, your coils. Um, you know, I'm using LS2 coils, so they're smart coils, so it just needs... You know, a ground to the head, a ground to the squirt, um, a signal from the squirt, and a 12 volt supply um, hooked up to a relay. Um, I kind of do relays like that rather than putting the extra added heat through the ECU uh, so you know I don't burn shit up. Um, then it's got, you know, like I think I've explained this in the other ones, but the biggest thing is oh, one can sensor input. So I'm guessing there we go. So that might answer my question there is that the cam sensor uh, or both cam sensors I'm gonna put it on this um, I think is, is usually a DB15 um, you know connector for the options port uh, what do you call it yeah so I believe that's where it's going to be um, I could probably just email Matt real quick and you know that's gonna be pretty pretty sweet because um, you know, I could do that, but at least, you know, the cool thing um, with it is at least they, I can use those stock sensors so I don't have to buy a trigger wheel, mount a trigger wheel, you know, spend more money and all that. Um, I can use those stock sensors and also they're hidden since they're both behind the head. Um, hopefully I can keep that wiring pretty clean. I was just looking at the wiring for the uh, throttle body 
you know, it's right there, close to the exhaust. I was gonna flip it around, but then the underneath of the damn throttle body looks so ugly. So, regardless of what, that's that's just uh, minor shit. But then I gotta do the intake air temp, and you know, um, what do you call it? I'm gonna probably just do that. I don't think it should have an issue behind the throttle body because I have, um, you know, that long runner that's there. But I'm gonna, you know, look up and all, but that's what's up so all right guys uh hopefully you know you know aaron we can i don't know if you're planning on squirting but we can probably work together and get that to go um and then one of the cool things is with the you know this setup it does a sequential ignition and sequential um fire so with that also being you can if you needed to fine tune um each cylinder which uh I don't, yeah, I mean, for racing purposes, maybe you can or can't, but it's pretty cool. If you can tune each cylinder uh, by injector, you can, you know, change the uh, duty cycle on it. Um, I believe that was one. I believe that, and also firing too, but, you know, some, some, some craziness. But, you know, that's like getting real because you would need um, individual O2 sensors for the ports, and probably, you know, you would like to have. Uh, EGT temps or what is it um is it, it's not a parameter but anyways anything to uh what's that called um monitor your engine your exhaust gas temp so you know but you know the mega squirt's a pretty cool thing and you saw the price there it's you know 6.59 and you know I don't need to get no external um what do you call it, uh, igniters, because it's just a logic and the igniters are built into the LS coils. Uh, the other thing too is this controls straight to, um, you know, high impedance injectors. I can go with low impedance and put a resistor, but I'm over here talking with my hands, you guys, I'm like doing puppet, I'm like woo. But anyhow, um, with the, you know, low impedance, you know, I can just put resistors and it'll be fine, but the only thing you don't get that control of um you know low down on idle uh with the 1600 cc's yeah it was kind of difficult but besides that you know it was fine so all right guys i'm over here rambling so i'll talk to you late bye